Well, it's been a few days, you know, since Monday night has come and gone. Uh, got NFL stuff right here for you all to be witnessing and to be looking at. And I'm just absolutely disappointed right now um, in the Dallas Cowboys. Let's just start with the Dallas Cowboys first. Uh, obviously, as you all know, I am the one of, one of the many Dallas Cowboys fans, and we just got straight up embarrassed on on that Sunday afternoon once again. It wasn't even Aaron Rodgers this time. It was Aaron Jones running for four touchdowns, and, you know, we, we did try and come back a little bit, but ultimately that didn't really work out too well um, at all. You know, we lose um, 34-24. Brett Maher misses a field goal to try. And, you know, cut the deficit to seven so that we could get the ball back. This was, this was just, uh, it, was, it was a disgusting performance. And, you know, it is. Whew, I don't know what in the world happened. Defense was not there. Dak was not there. The running game wasn't there. People were dropping balls. You know, I just don't know. Now, is, now, is this going to affect the team at all? I don't know yet. We're three and two. We're, we're still in the mix of things. You know, we're only about a third of the way into the season. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, this team definitely has to improve, you know, as far as when big competition steps up and comes into big D or when we go to their place. You know, the last two performances haven't been good. Um, you know, got to got to do better. There's another team who has to do better. It's the Browns. Um, they got absolutely destroyed on Monday night by the 49ers. Jimmy G and George Kittle and all those cats down there in Santa Clara were doing their were doing their damnedest to just keep the Browns. Well, being the Browns, you know, yeah, the Browns are just. Gonna be one of the. I told you, I told you that the Browns are gonna be one of these inconsistent teams that are just gonna be like there. All the hype is built up around them all season long, and then they keep squandering it at, at big moments. You know, they get blown out thirty-one to three. You know, just disgusting. You know, Chiefs finally lose, but I mean, it really wasn't even that big of a game to be completely honest you know you still recover you know i was still recovering from that embarrassing loss that the cowboys had so you know and i didn't even end up watching that game which is unfortunate um, i had to do something else that later that night so the broncos finally get a win hey, that's good i mean the raiders get revenge on khalil Mack. that's also good um mason rudolph got not that of the game against the Ravens, but the Ravens still won. So, I mean, that's that's something, you know. Um, Patriots, they're probably just going to keep cruising the victories until somebody knocks them off at some point during the season because the Redskins are absolutely terrible. Dan Schneider is finally fired. Um, so it doesn't really mean anything for the Redskins right now. Um, you know, the, the whole organization is just terrible right now. And you got you to gotta do something to improve that. Um, the Bills get a big victory. Um, you know, um, Saints, they, they continue their winning ways. Teddy Bridgewater threw four touchdowns. Man, very surprising to see that after the performance that they had against the Cowboys uh, the week before, you know. For Teddy Bridgewater to come out and throw touchdowns like that. <laughs> the Buccaneers. You know, the Cards get their first win. So good job for Cliff Kingsbury and Kyler Murray. You know, they finally get a W. Um, the Falcons get blown out by by the Texans. You know, it wasn't even close. Uh, so did the Giants. They get blown out by the Vikings. And, you know, um, so did the Jets, who we'll talk about in a minute. Um, they get blown out by the Eagles. Wasn't even close. Um, Jags Panthers was a sneaky good game, but you know you had Christian McCaffrey um, running everywhere, just running up and down the field all over the Jags. It wasn't even 
wasn't even was just it just it just wasn't you know wasn't meant to be for the Jags. And then finally, um, Thursday night game, you know, Rams Seahawks, where there was interesting decisions. I'll say that. Uh, then Greg the leg, Greg Zerline missed the field goal at the very end of the game. So you know, it is what it is. So week five really um, showed us that. Um, there's a lot of inconsistency um, and hype, you know, and I think um, as far as, you know, the fake Cowboys fans go, it was just going to be like, oh, well, we're going to go, we're going to go this week, uh, we're going to go, we're going we're gonna to keep winning and all that good stuff like that, you know, we're going to go 14 to 2 and all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Browns fans also overhyped um uh, I said it was going to be, you know, it, it was going to be either a bust or it was just going to be an inconsistent year for the Browns. It's looking pretty inconsistent right now for them. Um, yeah, but we're some great games, though. Um, a couple blowouts. Um, you know, it is what it is, the NFL. Oh. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Who would have thought that? That the 49ers, the Patriots would be undefeated, but the, the uh, and by this point, you know, maybe the Patriots, yeah, but the 49ers, man, who would have thought that? I certainly wouldn't have, but with all that being said, everybody, thank y'all for watching, you know, this is the week five recap, and week six, it's going to be a doozy once again, so with all that being said, everybody, thank y'all, and Go Cowboys, you know, all that good stuff.